Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca Rosen and today I'm going to teach you an amazing hack that one of my Instagram followers told me I should try out. After having shared some stories that I had found some wild blackberries here in England, I decided to make this little video to show you how you can create a beautiful loose watercolor painting without any paints whatsoever. So let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll obviously need some blackberries. Um, the mushier, the better. So I would choose extra ripe berries. That's what I have right here. And then grab a spoon from your kitchen and start crushing those berries like you're about to make a jam. So you really want to crush them firmly, make sure all the juices and pigment comes out. And this will take a little bit of time, but just keep on crushing. And soon after you'll notice that you have a small little puddle of juicy color. And obviously the consistency won't be exactly like watercolors because this is coming directly from the berry. So it's gonna be more of a thicker consistency and that will work just great for this because we're going to mix it with a little bit of water and you'll see that you'll be able to create a really nice painting simply by using these crushed berries. All right, once you're done crushing and you notice a little puddle of red color, you're ready to get started. So all you need to do now is grab your paintbrush. I'm using a Princeton brush. If you'd like to shop this brush, I absolutely love it. I use it in almost all of my work. Simply click on the links under this video. I've attached a link to the brush as well as the paper. You want to make sure to dip your brush in water before grabbing your blackberry pigment because you want this juicy pigment to hold on to something. So dip your brush in the water and then into the pigment and start painting. So I'm just doing some simple strokes. I'm doing some loose flowers from my imagination. This is one of my favorite ways to paint and you guys can follow along. You'll notice that I often go back in with more of my juicy blackberry pigment to add a bit more color to the center of my flowers. So feel free to try that technique as well. Also, can I just say that this painting smells amazing? I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing as we do this, but my blackberries were picked in nature in a random forest here in England and they smell absolutely incredible. So. Yeah, this is a super fun DIY and I hope you guys enjoy it. What I love to do is just fill up my whole paper with these beautiful petals and leaves 
and I really find that I get a nice result when I make sure that most of the white of my paper is being taken over by leaves and petals or little buds. What's really interesting is that the blackberry juice dries up a little bit darker than what it looks like once you first apply it, sort of similar to what watercolors do actually. So I'm just going back in my main flower and adding more pigment to the center just because I want to explore that aspect of the blackberry and see if this will dry, you know, a little bit darker as I've added more color to it. So feel free to experiment with this project. You don't need to do exactly what I'm doing. You can try different things too. And I'd love to know your comments or feedback in the comment section under this video. And there you have it, a lovely monochrome painting that you have created with blackberries. How cool is that, guys? I hope you had fun. I hope your painting smells as delicious as mine does. And feel free to subscribe to my channel, leave me a thumbs up and a comment. I would really love to hear how your project went and what you experienced while painting this.